implementing dark mode is too easy when you are using Tailwind CSS in your React or Next.js project or any other type of projects. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can implement dark mode. Also, in this tutorial, we will save the state of our dark mode, which is dark or light, into our browser local storage, so we can save and persist it in our browser. Let's go and see how we can do this. Well, I'm inside of Tailwind CSS uh, website, and here you can see that I'm on this uh, road slash docs slash dark mode, and here we can see how we can use dark mode. It's too easy when you are using dark mode, so you just need to add this dark in the first of your classes and then you can write the classes that you want to be run in dark mode. For example, you can use BG white and then in dark you can use BG slate 800. We'll implement this example and first let's see what we need to do. So here you can see that when we are using the tailwind dark mode, we can use preferred color schema or we can use a class strategy. The class is easier. So Let's see how we can do this. Inside of tailwind.config.js, we need to, inside of the module.export, we need to add dark mode equals to class, and then we can uh, add it into one of the parent uh, tags of our HTML, which can be either the HTML tag or the body tag. I will use body, it's easier, and then we can use the dark mode classes, and that's it. So let's go and see how we can do this, and by the way, I'm using the React icons package, to show you the dark mode icon and also the light mode icon and also I want to use one of my projects let me show you that this is it this is the project I'm going to use and you can download this project from my github repo you can simply clone it from here I've done this so let's go and start implementing dark mode well this is my project and you can simply download it from the github and after download it make sure to go to the terminal and here make sure to use npm i sorry npm i to install the required node module package and after that you can run this project so in first step we need to have some configuration inside of tailwind.config.js so let's go here and here inside of module.export you can see that i have content and theme and also some plugins but before all of them inside of module.export i use the dark mode and I say I prefer to use this class and then I use this colon and that's it. Let's format the document. Well, now we can use the uh, class of dark mode in our project and this is it. So after this, we need to have a place to implement the dark mode and the light mode and choose which term we need to use. So inside this project, I have a header. So I will go to components and layout and inside of this layout section, I have some components. I want to use this main header. Before that, let me show you that. Where is it? So I go to the terminal and I, first you need to use npm i and then you can use npm run there and see the project inside of your browser. Well, this is it. You can see that this is my header in this section on the top of my website. So here I have uh, this user area and also I have this language selector. And uh, here I want to choose the icons I want to use for changing my dark mode so let's do this let's close this terminal and here inside of this main header component i have a division and in this division i'm using flex so for the left side i'm using this brand it's not important but on the right side i have this flex and i have some children so i want to use my icons here first we need to import the icons so we need to use the react icons slash fa but because we previously imported the fabars from it we can import the other icons here. So I want to use the FA Sun and also FA Moon. This is it. So I want to use these two icons. And here after this division and before this division in line of 15, I press enter and here I can use them. So I can use fast Sun and also FA Moon. That's it. And for them, I can use the class names of cursor of pointer and that's it let's copy this for the phone moon and use the format document well let's see them and see what we have until now in our project and that's it you can see that we have two icons here now let's go and implement them in order to implement the term we can use a simple state so i will create a new state for it so i create a const of team and set team equals to user state 
with an initial value. So for the initial value here, we can simply use a light or a dark mode, but it's better to read it from the local storage. So let's use format document. And here before this term, I, I use this initial theme. So I say that this uh, variable of initial team equals to local storage that get items of this key which is team. Or if it's not exists, it's undefined or null, we can simply use this light string. And I will use this initial theme here for my initial value of this state. So this is it. Let's format the document and close this explorer. So we have the uh, team state for now. And after that, let's create a team switcher a function. So let's delete this space and here uh, let's create it. This team switch handler would be an arrow function and it will receive a new team variable and we will handle it. So we check that if new team equals to dark or new team equals to light we can use it so we will use the set theme of this new theme and also we will save it on our local storage so we use local storage dot set item of this theme and we need to have a name for it so we use this name as our local storage key and then we can use new theme that's it let's use the format document so this is my term switcher handler and after that let's have a use effect so we can handle the change of term in our document body so let's use a use effect and we will check that if the team state equals to dark we want to use the document dot body dot class list dot add and we add the dark class to our document that's it else if it is not the light it is not the dark we know that it is light so we can use simply the document dot body dot class list dot remove and we can simply remove this dark from it and that's it so let's use format the document so in the use effect we check that if the theme is dark we can add the dark to our document body classes else we can remove the dark from our body classes and that's it simple and easy and inside of this dependency array we can use the theme so we will be sure that with change of theme this use effect would be triggered and that's it and after all of these, we need to use this term switcher in our icon. So let's do this. I will copy the name of this term switcher. And I know that when I click on this FA sign, I need to use the unclick. So let's use the unclick. And in this unclick, I have simply called this term switcher. And if I click on the sun, I need to go to light mode. So I use this. Let's copy this unclick. And if I check, click on the FA moon, I need to go to dark mode. So I will send this dark into my temp switch handler. Let's use the format document. And I think it's okay. So let's go and check it. So I go to the website. So here let's uh, go to inspect. And I go to the application to see my local storage. So this is the local storage. Let's delete everything. And here if I click on this sun, you can see that I have the theme of light in my local storage. And if I click on this moon, well, it will go, this uh, theme will go to dark and it would be changed. That's good. It means that we have the theme and it is changing. So let's go and use it. How we can use it? Let's see. Here inside of these classes, we can simply use the dark. So I'm on the main header. So I'm using BG white. And after this BG white, I say dark. And in dark mode, I want to use a BG of, let's say a slate of. 800 so this is the uh, some classes of tailwind let's use format document so i said that in my header normally i use bg white which is the light mode but on the dark mode i need to use bg slate of 800 let's see if it's work or not so i'm on the light mode and if i click on this moon well you can see that my theme is dark and my theme is changed so you can see that i have this background if i again click on this sun I will go to light mode and if I click on this moon, I go to dark mode. That's good. Now let's change the color of it and change some other classes to see it's better. So here, after this dark, 
also I can use a dark text of white so in dark mode I want to use BG slate of 800 and also text of white and uh, let's go and for example on the main layout here you can see that this is my main layout I have minimum height of a screen and BG gray of 200 and here I can use on the dark I want to have a BG slate of let's say 800 again that's good or in order to have a better visualization of it I use BG slate of 700 and also I have a sidebar so you can use any classes in any where of your project so I here for this sidebar I use a dark of BG slate of this time I use 600 that's it so I think everything is okay let's go and check it again well you can see that everything is changed but let's have some uh, white text for this sidebar so in the main sidebar after this I can use a dark with text of white that's it and also let's go to our main page which is inside of my app and my page and here you can see that I'm using BG white and rounded up LG margin X of 4 and padding of 4 this is my home page and here I say on the dark mode I want to be to be BG slate of let's say 900 and also on dark mode I want to have a text of white this is it now let's go and check everything well you can see that it was too easy we changed everything and if I go to light mode everything is normal and if I go to dark mode everything would be changed and that's it and also our tutorial is finished but we can show just one of them for example if we are in the light mode we don't need to have the light mode icon we just need to have the icon of the dark mode to go to dark mode and when you are in the dark mode we don't need this dark mode we just need to have the light mode so let's implement this in order to implement this functionality let's close everything and go to where we have that uh, buttons which is inside of our components layout layout sections and main header so here let's minimize this explorer and we use the fast sun and far moon but it's better to render them conditionally so i open a curly brace and here i will check that if my theme so you know that this theme is coming from the this uh, theme state and that's it so i check if theme equals to light mode i need to render something else i need to render something else so if the theme is light i just need to have the fa moon because i'm already on the light mode and i don't need this fa sun so i will render this fa moon if i'm on the light mode else let's cut this and here i will paste it and i use format document by the way i'm using prettier if you're asking what is this so let me show you quickly on the extensions prettier I'm using Pretty for, uh, for uh, formatting my codes. That's it. So uh, what we have done right now, we said that if my theme is light, you just need to show the FA moon, else you need to show FA sun. Let's see if it works or not. So you can see that I'm on the dark mode, so I just see the light mode or the FA sun icon. So if I click on it, I will go to the light mode, and now I just see the dark mode icon, and that's it. Well, it seems that it works correctly. And that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you. Have a good time and goodbye.